And welcome everybody to Nessity 2's continuation of Alan Wake Let's Play! Here we are, starting up episode 2, and we're going to get a little concept of Alan before all this madness has occurred. As you can see here, we're coming back from, looks to be from the grocery store. Oh, yeah. Do some grocery shopping. Yeah. Alright, let's see here. Hopefully you liked the last episode where I showed you all the pages from episode one. Worst weather I've ever seen. And see here we are in New York, and it's a blizzard going on out there. Hey, handsome. This is going to be a long night, but these shots are turning out great. Oh yeah, girl. Love having a wife as a photographer. I'll go put it on. Okay, turn on the coffee pot. Man, I don't want to be out in that weather. Coffee's on. All right, coming in here. Ooh, what is this? We at the ninth big flat screen TV. Oh yeah, can't wait to see if that baby looks like popped up there over on the side there. <laughs> all right. I'm saying like, hopefully you liked all the pages from episode one. I have a little debacle of putting them up there because it could be a possible spoilerish, possibly not. But I think with this kind of a story and everything, you should be okay with knowing some things of the sort. So, enjoy. Oh, speaking of the pages, yoink. These look really good. Remember that one from episode one? That's the cutout stand there. Looking very good. Oh yeah. Oh, Barry. Uh oh. That's not good. Alice does not like the dark. Oh, there's my books. All right, come on. All right. Um, uh, Alice, I'm right you are. Here. I'm on it, honey. Calm down, Please Alice. Hurry. We're going here. I'm right here, baby. All right. So it looks to be. Honey, it's a power outage. Okay, so it's not the fuses. Okay. Hi. As you know, okay. Alice is afraid of the dark, I'm so sorry. we don't want her to be her just, scurred. So we'll flash light on her face. really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. Oh, now we're gonna have a little romantic time no, with candles. Oh but yeah. Just, especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know. It gets oh, come on now. Look at this. This is a lovely scene lovely. here. I mean, Alan and his wife having a good time, time together. Okay. Oh, now how can Alan be an asshole? I used He's to such have a nice guy. When I was a kid, the dark really spooked me too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? <laughs> yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and imagine... Oh, looks like Alan was a little afraid of the dark, too, in his younger years. Sure. Hmm. Very interesting. Alan. <laughs> Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, well, right? Well, it's a nice little clicker thingy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you. Even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Oh, you're so cute and so precious and all oh, little Mickey 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 Ali. Oh yeah. Oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> nah, not a little bit of that, that's alright though. And now we're back to the present time. <laughs> and now as you can oh, you feel Mr. getting Wake? looked at. Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that. Mr. Wake? Because then it's a doctor. Alan's having some problems. Okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, Is that I a fish? You have a concussion. I guess he got to the doctor when he was fishing. <laughs> quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Yeah, I'll take it easy because I need to go find my wife. That's well, going to happen. Mm -hmm. We're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll yeah, sure. Right I'll do that. Sarah, uh -huh. uh, Sheriff Breaker is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. That's Doc nice. And Nelson has a big fish. Image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take fish. a look at the cut fish in my head. Anyways, let's go. I guess go see the sheriff. 
That way I'm not in any trouble. Because I don't want people thinking bad suspicions about me here being in that gas station. Yeah, so let's just be as popular, nice as we can. You know, the meeting room and... Oh, here's some missing posters. I'm going to take a look at these real quick. Uh ha -huh ha, -huh, camping trip. Man, that's not good. One of those taken things takes over those guys. Ugh, hopefully I didn't kill them. Alright, what about this one? This is not good. A lot of people are missing, and it's just... Yeah. Alright, well, let's see what the... Come in, Mr. Sheriff Ray. has to say. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Oh, well, that was nice of you to charge the phone. Thank you. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? Yeah, freaky how the cabin how was there when I was there, but when we went station. back, it wasn't I there. I'm scared. What happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Oh, phone's ringing. Excuse me. Unknown I caller. That's this. never a good sign. Let's see what this is all about. Maybe it's Barry. Hello? Alan, please help me. Alice? Alice? What the heck? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. What? Who is this? Oh, no, 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 ooh, I'm not liking this. Someone stole my wife. Left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. We're watching you? What the? Okay, this isn't good. Mr. Wade, can I help you with anything? I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Just don't mind Walter in there. He's one of our hey, Maybe I should ask her really if I can go out <sighs> back, but I didn't, so... Yeah, we're gonna just sneak on by. It's not way we're not dumb. Yeah, I'm not getting myself badly. too much in trouble. He shouting like that the moment he woke up. Okay. Let's see. Hey, hey, mister! Hey, can you turn the light? Hmm, do I flip the switch? Do I flip it? Do I flip it? Yeah, I flip it. Guy's apparently afraid of the dark. We don't like want to be scared. Good guy. Hey, what's up, fatty drunk? Anybody tell you different? You know I shouldn't even Can't be up. in here. Oh, uh, huh? Maybe I shouldn't stop to talk to All him because See, you know how drunkards can sure, be. Sure, sure. Talk your ear off. Talk, 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 talk. talk about nonsense and everything. I mean, I mean luckily I'm the kind of person if you tell me to shut up, I'll shut up everything in the store. But luckily you don't have to tell me to shut up because this is my let's play and you're here watching it, so I can keep on talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> All right, come on, Mr. Wake. Come on, 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 Goddamn space aliens! Space aliens, huh? Uh huh. Well, yeah, it's okay. You you're you. Believe me. Mm hmm. Yeah. You don't say, huh? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, you weren't drunk. Uh huh. Let's just walk away now. You're just being too quick, right? Oh, that's a page in there. I yoink. All right. Yeah, he's gonna pass out soon. He can't stand on his own two feet. All right. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my ah, head. the light it the burned. The man on the phone said, "Go through the fence on the left." Okay, there's a joker there. So let's hop over this thing here. Yep. Uh, and let's show our ninja moves. Disintegration. Yeah. Another page. Good. Alice's driver's license had oh, been placed cool. in the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been uh -oh. trying to reach you for a week. Mom's worried now. about me, guys. Oh, get the early lord. Oh, don't jeez. Oh, jeez. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Oh yeah, we gotta get the kidnappers and figure out what, why they took her in the first place. This ain't right. Up, oh. yeah, he passed out. Oh, a writer is what's a that? that? Reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite 
If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Man, freaky. Why am I on the telly telly? Uh, well, since he's now asleep, I can turn the lights off. Ooh, I see a flashing light. I'm gonna push the button. Push. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. I see a page. I'm gonna go grab it real quick. Tor and Odin never caused Yoink. any trouble to anyone when they were still living at their farm. Indeed. All we can do uh -huh, is blah, 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 blah. People are talking over here and people that... Oh, cutscene. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need What's to know this what old guy smug face so looking at me for? I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. Hmm. I'm Dr. Cabins. Emil Hartman. Hart? I'd like Wait to a minute. You are the jerk garage. butt. Did you talk to my wife? Oh, I don't like your smug face. On several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My you do what? Place where... Ooh, right in the face. Take it easy. And who's this hey, clown? Oh, I bet I know who that is. My it's my I'm editor, Barry. Barry wearing a heavy jacket and Hawaiian if clothes. Ah, oh, he's a beach bum. You, Wait, a New Yorker wearing a Hawaiian shirt and shorts. Aha! Uh -huh. no you with? Right. You think you'd be more? I don't, want to mm, press I don't know. Business Mr. casual Wake, instead of my offer still stands. vacation attire, but in a big heavy here. coat. Odd. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. There's not really a paparazzi kind of incident there, Barry. Come on now. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money. Not by Barry, Barry thinking I'm all cuckoo crazy to go nuts. Anything beyond that was another story. All right, here I am I at the park. I can with the kidnapper please get my cabs for the cold nights. No way I'm not being, you know, the hiding away. Man, nice little like pickup it, truck. I, I like it. like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake? Oh. oh, it's Rose. I found him. Hi, Rose. Oh, wow, I was just thinking about you, too. Hey, <laughs> look at Barry being all smug. <laughs> He's like, hey, baby, what's going on? Looking yeah, did you bring me some of your nice hot coffee? Oh, uh, yeah. You know. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later. Oh, look at that. He still wants to, he, he yeah. still wants to be. <laughs> Gross. All right, now we're inside here. Jeez, Mr. Takes a Swing at Everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. Oh, and oh, she was sweet. very <laughs> helpful when I was looking for you. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No, no. Uh, come on, Barry. Shut your mouth. I'm not that quick week. way. And someone's got Alice. And Do everything's you understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start... And Barry's all about the money, reality, isn't he? You're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. All right, well... I don't want to keep on listening to his banter, so let's see. Nope. No way over there. Let's go. Hey, there's... Easy there, boy. Hey, it's Rusty. You remember from episode one? Hey, right. you're Rusty, right? You run cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. Oh, poor little puppy. He looks like he got himself hurt. Aww. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. Bucktooth Charlie. What happened? Uh-huh. Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some lowlifes. <sighs> well, at least Max is going to be okay. He got lucky. Poor little Maxie, but 
That's never a good sign here in Trappers. Now, just go and meet a kidnapper? Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. But I'll talk to the wife, cops, they're going to take Alice away, and they're going to hurt her, possibly. No. This whole thing, it... Listen, you hit your head. I mean, jeez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. I know it sounds crazy, but on me. I need to save Alice, come on! Barry, are you going to be with me or are you going to be against, be against me? Come on. Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. Yeah, I wish I could quit it, but pff, can't. Alright, let's we'll see where this paper at. Ah, here we are. So let me just do the... Take it with me over here and give it back to Rusty. Okay, there you go. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Excellent. Thanks. Oh, that pup dog is going to be okay. To I know puppies. Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths. You'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Oh, good. At least I know how to get to the kidnapper now. If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. Oh, and hey, if you take a walk in the woods, watch your steps so you don't end up like Max. Amen to that, brother. Worried. We got a bunch of campers out there we haven't heard from. It's not like these people are on a schedule, but with the traps... Wait, what? Oh, he's talking about the people that are missing. Oh, um, trouble. Right. Thanks. Yeah, I have to be careful when I go out there later, then. Uh, Barry, what do you got to talk to me about now? You're to believe that you shot a dude who went poof into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. Do you hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms, strapped to their beds, wearing white shirts with two long tangled up sleeves, and eating a <laughs> healthy I'm the nut house. I'm not going to go to the nut house. Come on. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour-long lecture on homeopathy last month. <laughs> what was it? If there's no proof, it's pure bullshit. Period. Guess the laugh's on me, then. Al, come on! I mean, okay. Okay, maybe something weird happened to you, okay? Well, thanks for the heartfelt vote of confidence. All I'm saying is you gotta throw me a bone here, bestseller. I am throwing you what a bone. I'm telling you everything that I know. There's Come no on. You should be going out at midnight with a Barry, gun. stop being cray cray. No Just believe me. Here, Barry. Either work with me on this or go straight well, do you have to see all these people in shadowy forms come after us? Mm -hmm. I guess so now. Freak. Uh, what? Hopefully you don't see any bears out there. Alright. Oh, this must be the Buckwheat Charlie thing he was talking about. It's a mammoth. Mammoth of a elephant. Alright, well, not to worry about reading that. Let's go to the cabin to get ourselves situated. That way we can start going down to midnight to meet the kidnapper. That's just crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry. Kill can't us. call the FBI. Can't call anybody. We have to be cautious. Barry. I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. All right, so we're going to have somebody in the back to be safe, and he's sneezing up a storm. No, because you're not yourself, be you bastard. The natives, <laughs> All right. You'll stay here in the safety Everybody of the house. I'll go out there and see if I can find this kidnapper. And we will be good to go. Bless you. If he has one sleep in a bed, there's two beds here, so good, good, good. Barry, complain a little bit more, why don't you? It's not like he's gonna do you any good, boy. Okay, let's see over here. Do, 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 do. Let's take some extra batteries, always good. And doors closed. So we'll go out the front door. And the door will close. Excellente. Nothing to see around here. Good. And let's see. Pshew! There we are. A little glitch there, but we will manage. Alright, we'll see if there's anything good back here in the back of the house. Oh, is, is that a hot tub? Oh, it's a hot tub! Ooh, gonna make me sweat! 
Gonna get in the hot tub. I can't stand it. Here I go. I guess not. Alright. Nice little well. Cool. Really, under different circumstances, it's supposed to be a nice place to stay. But, this isn't the regular circumstances, so we gotta go and catch up with this kidnapper. Ah! Get away, bird. Mm-hmm, okay. Let us... Ooh, Paige, let's go pick that up. You wink. And let's take a quick ride in the car. Barry had the keys oh, to the car. Oh, come yet. on! It wasn't a long walk to the visitor center, and it wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. I guess it's sure it's a nice little walk away. I can take a little stroll in the dark. Doesn't look like there's nothing bad happening out I here, so... I gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying uh, to birds. get me out of it. Hey. These people had called me right in the sheriff's uh, station. Uh, the cops will really scare them. They are and bad they birds. Stay away. Us. Stay away. You know, I'm gonna deal with you, birds. I'm real tired of your shit, birds. <laughs> shit, birds. <laughs> All right. Bye! Damn animals. Scared the crap out of me. There's a nice little cabin here. Hello? Anybody home? Guess not. Ooh. Let's turn on the radio. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end mm -hmm. in the studio. Hmm. Maybe we should turn on the light. There we go. Nice and protected. Love the light. Oh, what if anything is here? <gasps> Ooh, revolver ammo. Just hold on to that for a little bit later. And what? What was that? Hello? Hello? Um, I'm gonna stay in here for a little bit, just in case. Exactly, <laughs> but I'm gonna check out the parade, of course. And I'll be one of the party contest judges, too. <laughs> mm-hmm. Good little radio station going on here between Maine and this other guy, so all good times. Oh, yeah. It's my kind of exercise. Now, Doc, seriously, you're in pretty good shape. Yeah, I'm still a little afraid to go outside, because I, I thought I saw a shadowy figure. I don't like that. That's right. Matter of fact, just caught a heck of a large mouth bass early this morning. But you're not taking part in the fishing contest? No, no, well, I guess you have to worry about him taking in the contest. That's good. Get some other people time to catch big fish. Because you saw how big that fish was in the earlier in this episode. Yeah. No fun if I get to worry about what I'm catching, you know? Considering your track record, the participants are probably pretty happy you feel that way. Well, Pat, that's kind of you to say. Okay, good little episode on the radio. Alright, um, yeah. Okay, let's go quickly before anything else comes around to scare us the living poop out of us. Down the stairs we go. Hmm, I bet this nice little scenic view there, and a tire swing swinging. Okay. Ugh. Why is everything shaking? I'm scared. Uh. Okay, um. Hopefully nothing's gonna come after me. Good. Okay, let's keep on trucking down here and maybe there's some goodies in this cabin. Let's see. There's a trailer by itself. Okay. And oh, oh, that's not good. Um, yeah. Oh, birds! Ah. Hey, birds. Okay. Um. Ooh. Television. Oh, there's another episode of Night Springs! Yay! Let's take a look-see here and watch this episode and see what is up with the stuff. Let's see, is there anything in here first, though? No. Alright, let's watch this episode and see what this thing has to do now. The scary door. Yeah, <laughs> just kidding. Night Springs! Here. 
assault the victim's head area repeatedly with the weapon of choice being a pair of bare fists. Wow, that sentence really flows, huh? Maybe you're not the literary type. Okay, so you mess him up. But why? Who was that guy? We couldn't ID him. Why would a guy like you do him like that? I didn't like his face. Well, you must have hated it, because you really went to town there. I mean, there's no way to tell what he looked like. No ID on him, either. That must be difficult. But then we ran the fingerprints. Got a match. Your prints. Identical. Huh. How about that? Your son said you were wearing a white shirt when you took him to the game. The white shirt is on the dead guy. It's plenty red now. You won't get away with this. Do you really think that's in any way relevant to me? I had plenty of time to talk to my boy before the cops arrived, you know? He won't stop screaming, am I right? You think he's ever gonna be okay? <laughs> I left my mark. Believe me. You, you bastard. What? You gonna shoot me? What's the point? I'm going to prison. You got me. I... I don't understand any of this. And you never will. Interesting little clip there. Mess with your mind. Another fun installment of Night Springs. The nice little eerie television show. So. Do 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 do. And the TV goes poof. And now we go I go on. And uh oh, guess I forgot to go to busy. Shout out to Vayuan Prison. She is a cool happening lady. Red headed foxy lady. Anyways, coming down here. Let's see. Oh, there looks to be a page in here, so yoink. Knocking over some stuff and this why is their cars all thrown up like that? I'm scared now. But at least there's the Ranger Station. Mm, excuse me, Ranger Station. Oh uh. What the heck was that? Vision left me awake. This was no That's not good. Ah! What's going on? Rusty? Oh, Snaggy's run to Rusty! Rusty, hang on! Oh I'm coming! Please, help me! I'm coming, Rusty! Run, you out of shape, Ryder! See nothing in there? Nope, okay. Come on, come on. Uh, holy crud, that is not a good thing. Oh, man. Let's see, um, um, let's see, uh, wait, it's in here. Gotta make sure I don't get electrocuted. Hello? Back here. I'm back here. Hey. Oh, Rusty, you, you're messed up, bro. Mr. Wake? <laughs> oh, oh that's hell. not good. It happened. Just the way it was. Oh, poor little doggy. He's like, what's going on, buddy? I found. Game true. It knew. So. Dark. He looks so spaced it's out. Oh God, me. Rusty! You must. The lights in the office. I have the key. Okay, I'll okay, I'll go get the lights on for Hang you, buddy. On. Just I'll stay right there. Back. Don't go crazy on me now. Cause I mean, that's all we need right now is you not to, to go crazy. Okay, I'll take your gun with me because I just don't want anything to happen. Poor little Pucci. You'll be okay, boy. Don't worry. Oh, poor Rusty. Hopefully you'll be all right. Oop. The only way to make get sure the power back on here safe. for him. That way, so this darkness way doesn't consume on. him. Another page. Excelente. I like the door. Yeah, let's see. It's all dark in here. Hopefully, something's in here. Going to get the, the bejesus out of me. And oh, another page. Yoink. So I'm just going to go in here. And oh. Let's see, get some goodies in here. Alright, and battery, good. I'm fully stocked on my gun. And oh, oh no. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. That's not good. Oh, Rusty! Oh shit! Rusty! That is Rusty. not sounding good, ladies and gentlemen. That's horrible. What the heck is that? It's just black stuff on the ground. Oh, that's not good. 
I'm going to just use a flashlight to dissolve this stuff. I don't want to be touching it. And... Yeah, we gotta deal with these butt munchers. Alright, flash the light. Bam, bam! Okay, he did. And... You know what? I'm shooting again. Naha! And that will conclude this part one of episode two, the last play of Alan Wake. Be sure to tune in next time and we'll figure out what the heck happened to Rusty. Because it looks like he is in a bad shape. Something. So we will catch you the next time. Too.